So I'm actually going to uh, ask another question, but I'm actually going to turn um, the attention to one of the potential Jack creatures that we have here in the room, Jeff Bosley. Oh, what would you bring to me <laughs> if you were the one? Wow, I uh, got cornered. Um, well, the short of it is, hi, Jeff Bosley. Um, I'm first and foremost a fan of cinema and consuming it. And that's one of my biggest disclaimers to the shenanigans of Hollywood or TV and all that is, is I mean, it's, I think it's, it purifies my intentions and in that I'm early in my career. There's a little bit more drive and passion and a lot less people telling me what to do for the overhead and do this for the studio and make sure you cast this person to make it look cool and do good in Asia and all that kind of marketing crap. Um, so I truly, I watched Batman the minute he said Frank Miller. I'm a fan of the source material. I get on the nerd forums and I complain about source material being bastardized. And uh, I think uh, all too often just, I mean, I get the logistics of the business. All too often things just have to be compromised and that's just the nature of the beast. But the thing I look at it to bring to it is that I'm a fan. I'm a proud geek when it comes to source material. But I'm also a former Army Special Forces Green Beret. Um, I get, I think you always hire the best actor. That's a fact. I hate people that think you should hire a vet because the character's a vet. That's bullcrap. If you can't act, that defeats the purpose. But I think there is something to be said for certain professions that you can't taste that until you've had it. Um, so I really think I bring, bring that to it. And uh, I was a theater geek before that. I was a four-year theater major. I went and played Green Beret around the world for a while and then came back and then finally after a certain turn of events I decided to come back and chase the dream as a you know 38 39 year old male and uh, I think that is a diversity I kind of pride myself on kind of being a Swiss army knife of performers um, nobody would see the big six and a half foot 250 pound tall guy and think he fights on DC forums about how bad Justice League was, um, was they, they, <laughs> And I'm pretty biased. <laughs> um, and then they would also just assume I, I am just a... Like, there's a lot of my brethren that are in the arts that are former military. Unfortunately, they, you can pick them out of a lineup because they can't interact socially. They don't maybe get the business aspect or the art aspect or, or they kind of get lost in it. And I'm, I'm very fortunate in how I was raised with academia and my father and all that to kind of get a lot of facets of life. And it's, it's worked in my, in my benefit or for my benefit as far as everything I've done. And it's a, uh, I don't like that veteran to, you know, thousand yard stare baloney, but I get it. Um, and it's something you can't emulate or replicate. And honestly, and then not to kind of pimp myself out a little bit is as a fan, and I truly say this uh, objectively, I can't see any other actor, like at least in the defense of the unknown character or unknown actor, I can't look at any other actor and not see them anymore. Uh, Liam Neeson's been brandied about, Gerard Butler, I mean, we can even use Tom Cruise. I love Tom Cruise. I really, really do. But I can't look at Tom Cruise after Magnolia mm -hmm. and not see Tom Cruise. Yeah. And, and I think that's the... Uh, I mean, I could be talking, shoot myself in the foot here, but I really think that's the thing to serve the fans is that the unknown mm -hmm. would purify the casting of Reacher because he has to have a clean slate. And, uh, is the unknown six foot five? I am. <laughs> with, on the dot. With, with blue eyes. With, yeah, and, then, and that's the other thing is a lot of people and a lot of fans, um, to their credit, they don't kind of get the business. And a lot of people are like, are you willing to dye your hair? And I'm like, I'm willing to do whatever the crap it takes because <laughs> it serves the character. And people lose that. Well, you can uh, identify with that, can't you? Because that letter you first wrote to your agent was, I am prepared to spend the next, or I am planning to spend the next three years doing whatever it takes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I didn't go to the extent of dying your hair or anything. Whatever. Stuff, but fundamentally, it's whatever it takes. Yeah. And I think there are two, you said two things that I think are great. One is, you have got to probably be the only four-year theater major who ended up in special forces. I guarantee you I am. <laughs> <laughs> if, that, if that person exists like there. custom-made background for that. 